what's up guys it's covert code here and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make robux on roblox so the first method is through commissions now what a commission is is essentially someone pays you in some form and you in return uh give them a service such as scripting building designing ui uh or even designing graphics now a great way to get people to come flocking to ask you for a commission is by making a portfolio. Now, you can make portfolios in several different places, but I suggest making one on the developers forum. And the developers forum is essentially a hub where Roblox developers go and post things. It's a forum um, just like any other forum. Now, another great place and i'm not sure if this is available for everyone um but it will be soon is the roblox talent hub this is essentially the fiverr or the upwork of roblox so this is a place specifically designed for people to go to and uh say that they're looking for a commission or if you are looking for commissions you can even add your portfolio on the roblox talent hub itself however at the moment i believe it is in closed beta so I would just suggest just going to talent.roblox.com and see if you have access. But if you don't, stay tuned because this is an amazing way to earn money because it is specifically designed to help people um, that are doing commissions. And just a word of advice, I usually avoid percentage payments unless it's a passion project. This is because the risk is higher. If you uh, get promised 25% uh, of a game and that game never makes any money, then you just gave up your time for free, right? Um, and you also have to wait for the game to be released to actually start getting payments. Um, so be careful if someone offers you a percentage. I'm not saying it's bad to get a percentage payout. It's just that, um, you know, there's no guarantee. And just make sure that people actually pay you. So never give your work in advance because there are a bunch of scammers out there who promise to pay you money, but they never actually end up paying you. And they just take your work for free and uh, leave you there essentially. So be careful for scammers. The second way is by making games. Now, games take significantly longer than commissions to complete, and they are obviously a higher risk uh, than commissions, but they have a higher reward. They're high risk because you're not sure if your game will actually succeed and they can be high reward because games on Roblox make a bunch of money. Um, the top performing games on the platform make millions of dollars every single year. So if you're interested in making a game and trying out your luck, um, then feel free to do so. I actually have a video on how to make a Roblox game. I will show you guys on the screen now. And if you want to make that game popular, I also have a video called how to make your game popular on Roblox. Check that out as well. And another reason you might uh, consider making a game on Roblox is to add it to your portfolio. So the first point, which was commissions, uh, you need a good portfolio. And if you have nothing to add to your portfolio and no one's hiring you, you can always try making a game and adding that to your portfolio uh, to enhance uh, your hire abilities, essentially. Now, the third way you can actually make money on Roblox is by selling clothes. Now, making clothes has been around for a long, long time, and there are a bunch of people who make so many clothes and make so much money. However, making clothing is kind of a challenge to like it's not as easy to get noticed as if you were making a game and a major reason for that is because there are so many people who just copy your clothes you put in the time to make these clothing and someone just comes along and steals your clothes essentially and then they decide to sell them for their own and they might even get more sales than you if you just go to the roblox catalog you see so many clones it is starting to improve but beware of that risk However, um, making clothes can be extremely profitable and it is a great source of passive income. And what passive income is, is essentially money you earn while you sleep. You don't even need to work actively on clothes. Once you release the clothes, they will make money for you uh, in the long run and you don't even need to do anything. And making clothes is exceptionally appealing to those who have an audience already. So if you're famous or you know you have a group or something like that, making clothes to sell to that audience um, is a great way to make money. The fourth way to earn Robux is through trading. Now, what trading is on Roblox is you buy exclusive hats, gears, or, or faces, or anything like that. Um, and these faces are essentially regulated by the market. 
So Roblox doesn't actually set the price. The price is dependent on supply and demand. And if you don't get what I mean by this, just go to a limited page, such as a Dominus, and you'll see that the price actually fluctuates over time. And these limited items tend to appreciate over time, which means that the value uh, that these are sold for uh, essentially increase over time. However, uh, don't rely on that. Trading is a great way to increase your <laughs> Roblox net worth, I guess. Um, I used to do it. Um, however, it is a challenge if you want to start with that. There are a bunch of things you need to learn, um, but if you're dedicated enough and you're not intimidated by the uh, learning curve, then I believe you can still succeed and make a bunch of Robux through trading. So yeah, guys, that's all I had for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions about what videos I should make in the future, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.